Jermaine Defoe and Joe Aribo won't make uh, the Hamilton game. Uh, both should be ready for the game after. Um, Leon Balogun is back, uh, trained fully yesterday and uh, will train again fully this morning. So we'll assess his situation before we make a decision in terms of the squad. Um, anyone else? Oh, Alan McGregor has had no reaction uh, and has trained fully all week. Uh, so two bits of, bits of positive news, but unfortunately Joe and Jermaine won't make the weekend. Can you just give us an update on the situation with Alfredo? Is, is, is he back involved and in how have you, you found his approach this week after what you said last weekend? Uh, I'll make that decision uh, later in the day. We've still got a session this morning, so we'll analyse and assess where Alfredo's at. Uh, what I will say is we've definitely seen um, a difference in his application. Um, he has refocused himself into training well and working hard this week. Um, but it's a decision I'll, I'll wait till, till the end of play today before I decide whether he's included or not. You mentioned there that you know, it's, a, it's a late decision to decide whether you know, Alfredo's going to be involved. Did the performances of Kamar Roof and Cedric Kitten last week make that even tougher, you know, given that there's that added competition and you can switch the, the system up as well? well? Yeah, I mean, not just in that position. I think you, as a manager, you, you analyse the players on a daily basis and you pick the players that you think are capable of going to get you the right results. Uh, you don't pick on name or reputation. You pick on the players that are training hard, that are focused, that are listening, um, that are taking messages on board, that are going to give you a better chance for your team to get the right results. Um, last week we made a decision for, for the benefit of the team and the squad. And um, in terms of Cedric and uh, Kamar, I thought their application was really good. Yeah, I was really happy with the performance, considering it was the first start. Um, I think there was real positive signs. Kamar getting off the mark. Uh, Cedric's work rate, so there's a lot of positives in terms of them two as a partnership, but also individually as well. So, what I will say is we're in much better shape from an attacking point of view in terms of options to use. We're not heavily reliant on one person, um, and I'm hoping to have Jermaine Defoe ready after the break as well. So, uh, I welcome the tough decisions in that area of the pitch. Stephen, when you look at your start to this season, how much stronger do you think your team is than you were last season, given? start you've had, the clean sheets and the all-round performances? I'm certainly very happy with the start we've made. Um, I think obviously just the one blip at, at Livingston, if you like, not being able to find the breakthrough. That's probably one uh, negative, if you like. But we've had a very strong pre-season and we've took our form into the domestic uh, competition. So it's been a solid start, a strong start, but I think it's very early days in terms of comparing us to where we are from previous seasons. I think for us it's just to remain focused and take each challenge as it comes. Um, we normally um, we look at the, the table after maybe eight to ten games to get a real good um, gauge on where you're at and um, I think after four games or five games sorry uh, it's still early days to make that prediction. Stephen there's a test event for supporters at the rugby tonight. Would you like to see some fans in for the next home game after the, the winter break? After the international break? I think I've said it before, David, I welcome it as, as soon as possible. Um, I think everyone appreciates and respects the, the situation, um, but I think it's certainly a positive that the rugby are, are getting to test the event and hopefully everything goes well. Uh, and that gives the people that make the decisions more confidence to introduce it into football, but uh, the sooner the better. Um, we, we've managed the situation in terms of not having no supporters there, but. Um, we have missed them and um, we welcome them back as soon as possible. Stephen, do you feel when you look at this season, the mentality of your team is better and stronger this year? Is that something that you guys are, are learning and developing all the time, given some of the challenges that have been thrown at you off the field? Do you feel now you're in a better place? I, th I think for sure, if we're going to have a successful season, we have to stay mentally strong and we have to stay focused. We can't uh, afford uh, to lose our focus or go into any games and think we're better than what we are. Um, but you know what I do see is players are tuned in, players have come back hungry, um, they've started the season really well, it's a solid start, but as I said earlier, it's still very early days to predict where we are and to get too carried away in terms of saying that, oh, all of a sudden we're, we're the perfect team, everything's rosy. That's not the case, we need to keep improving, we need to keep working hard on the training pitch and keep trying to fine tune ourselves because we still feel there's areas to develop and get better in. A lot has been made about the obviously five clean sheets in a row record. Um, does this obviously give you a dilemma into regards 
they'll be your number one going forward. In the goalkeeping situation? Uh, yeah. n not really, um, not really. Listen, uh, we, we welcome clean sheets. Uh, we're very proud of the players' efforts um, and the performances so far. Um, but I think it's important to focus on winning football matches. That's the most important thing. Um, if we manage to keep clean sheets and that goes on and on, then brilliant. Um, but for me, the priority is to win the game. In terms of the goalkeeping um, situation, John's come in um, and he's done extremely well. He's been faultless, if you like. So. Um, in terms of my decision to pick a number one at the moment, um, it, it is a, a welcome headache, if you like. Um, but I know Alan very well. I've been around for two years and um, he's been superb for me. And I know um, he'll want to do everything he can to win that back. And I, I welcome that competition. Just looking at the, the four guys who played uh, up front last week or, or in the attacking positions last week, uh, you can then add to that, hopefully over the next few weeks, Hadji, Morelos, Aribo, Defoe which is uh, a quite exciting lineup. For those players, is it a case of you've got the shot, so it's up to you to keep it, or is you as a manager someone who thinks more about rotation and maybe changing depending on who we're coming up against? Well, I think more often than not, you, uh, you don't like to change uh, a winning team, if you like, um, and you do set the players that challenge and that responsibility of putting in performances to keep their shirts if they're selected. Um, but I think if you look at us, it, it's going to be impossible to pick the same players for every game because hopefully we're going to go on and have another approximate 60 game season. Um, so at the right time, I do have to offload and, and take people out and give them a rest and freshen them up. Um, you know, Hadji's fit, um, he's had a bit of a niggle that he's been managing, but he'll be uh, available for tomorrow. Uh, Alfredo's uh, back in terms of being with the group to train. Um, so we've already got some good options and I've already got some selection dynamics to, uh, dilemmas to pick from in the next 24 hours and then uh, hopefully come Dundee uh, United after the break uh, I have even more headaches and that's the position I want to be in, that's the reason why we've purchased these players and asked them to come and represent the club because we believe as a group and a unit there's, there's enough in there f uh, to help us be successful. Even we heard earlier this week that FIFA had relaxed the rules about clubs releasing players for international duty if they're worried about quarantine restrictions. Is that something the club has looked at or is it a concern going forward for you? It's not a concern, but it is something that we have looked into. Um, I think the medical department and our doctor, uh, Dr Mark Wallace, took a lead on that in terms of the communication with, with countries and um, borders and stuff for, for decisions. I think we've got to trust our players that they'll go and get to and from uh, as safely as possible and, and continue to follow the rules. Um, but we want our players to go and represent the countries. We're proud to release them and we hope they go and represent the club in, in, in the right way. Um, and we don't expect any complications when they return because we expect them to be tested whilst they're away at the right times. And um, as I say, follow the rules so they can come and return safely and get back into our bubble.